Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 17 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. In this lecture we're gonna start in chapter 6 work and we're gonna discuss some topics regarding changes, fears and communication and also regarding impacts on employment. The introduction of computers in the workplace generated many fears. That means when the computer used in the workplace some concern were generated such as the increasing in unemployment also the need for increased skill and training widens the earning gap new trends still generating generating yeah new trends still generating fears such as offshoring of jobs offshoring of jobs means when a company move from a country to another country this will lead to mass unemployment also the employers use of technology to monitor their employees the impacts of using computers on the employment uh, has two sides one is positive side and the other is negative side the positive side is the job creation or new job creation the positive side is the destruction of many jobs a successful technology eliminates or reduces some jobs but create others reduced the need for telephone operators for example meter readers and mid-level managers new industries arise such as internet and cellular communication before using the technology these industries wasn't available also lower prices increase demand and create jobs now when the new technologies or using of technology in the workplace affect on the employment and cause unemployment then the unemployment transitively affect the economy from the positive side new products and services based on computer technology create jobs in design marketing manufacturing sales customer services uh, repair and maintenance the new jobs created from computers are different from the job eliminated new jobs such as computer engineer and system analyst jobs require a college degree where jobs such as bank tiller and customer service representatives and clerk do not companies are more willing to hire people without specific skills when they can train new people quickly and use automated support systems so all of this are positive uh, points to use the uh, computer and technology in the workflow now look at these questions and try to answer it or find answer or think about it with your classmate what jobs have been eliminated due to the technology in your area what jobs that were once considered high skill jobs are now low skill due to technology what new jobs have been created because of technology do automated systems mean fewer jobs for high skilled workers 
will human intelligence in employment be devalued now let us talk about one important sector which is the telecommuting telecommuting is a new area of work that is uh, created due to technology working at home using a computer e electronically linked to one's place of employment mobile office using a laptop working out of your car or at customer locations time and part-time telecommute so there are a lot of advantages and disadvantages for telecommuting you can find this uh, in the book on page 284 and 285 also there is some new uh, area of of jobs created due to the technology these jobs or this area of jobs regarding the global work force we have here outsourcing offshoring and insuring outsourcing is a phenomenon where a company pays another company for services instead of performing those tasks itself offshoring means the practice of moving business processes or services to another country especially overseas to reduce costs in the opposite ensuring when another company employs thousands of people in a country different different than your country the last issue we're gonna discuss is the ethics of hiring foreign workers suppose you are a manager of a software company in your country and you are about to begin a large software project you'll need to hire dozen of programmers using the internet for communication and software delivery you can hire programmers in another country at a lower salary than programmers in your country should you do this are you taking advantage of the foreign programmers perhaps exploiting uh, them by paying them less than you would have to pay uh, for the programmers in your country some believes it is unfair to both the programmer of your country and the foreign programmer so we reached to the end of this lecture and see you next lecture goodbye